Imagine trying online dating for the first time, the first time ever, and you meet someone obsessed and it takes a turn for the worse. Makes you wonder what truly goes through a mind of a stalker and what are the great lengths that they're willing to go. From start to finish, there are jaw-dropping events that happens to Dave the Mechanic, a newly single father of two, wants to get back out into the dating world and simply just have some fun, and things go completely wrong. Lover, stalker, and killer has chilling, chilling events to show why online dating has its negatives as well as things to look out for. In this documentary, the great lengths that the stalker was willing to go are multiple harassing text messages and emails, excessive amounts of threats, threats to harmless people such as children, constantly circling someone's home, committing crimes, and self-inflicting wounds. Netflix did a fantastic job with the reenactments, which at times, if it is not well executed, it can come across as cheesy. The interviews, they still show the vulnerability and the emotions and the feelings of what these people experienced due to this woman. It gives us a lot of insight and you can really feel the pain. This case goes across the time frame from at least 2012 to 2015. This 90 minute film is extremely captivating and much preferred than splitting it into episodes. It was beautifully produced that you get the sense of this twisted love triangle. They've walked us through each moment, step, an incident throughout this four year time span and I'm pretty sure it was not easy to relive. But you can tell that he wanted to get his story across, which he did. And I can also appreciate it due to the fact that I've never heard of this case before, but I was extremely interested. As someone who watches true crime documentaries often, the production was top here. Throughout the entire documentary, I had to question myself a couple of times like, is this even real? It's like, yeah, it's true crime. It's insane. It expressed violence, no nudity or sex, arson, and real footage from police recordings, and Dave's old photos. It really helped you step into this world. All of this context guided the documentary to its efficiency. You truly felt as if you were a part of the investigation. Any true crime that leaves you flabbergasted and makes you question everything proves that it was a job well done. Overall, I highly recommend watching Lover, Stalker, Killer. It is a must see. And if you're into online dating, please be careful because you will never know who you will meet. And if you were already familiar with this case prior, please let me know. Were there any truths, similarities? I would love to know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell to keep up with me. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated and catch you guys next video.